Yeah, y'all might have to back back off the homie Yeezy, man. <laughs> I know it's been a crazy. I mean, is it a sideshow? Is it a distraction? You know, I hear it all. Sometimes it's all these things. Sometimes it's really all happening. You know, I'm not here to argue with you, man, of uh, Kanye's, uh, you know, rocking the red hat versus, <laughs> you know, um, you know, OG Kanye uh, <laughs> with Bush talking about uh, uh, nobody like black people. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not here to argue MK Ultra Kanye versus clone Kanye <laughs> or any of this stuff. You know, we got what we got, whether it's clone Kanye or not. But now we got what we got. All right. So let's deal with it. Let's look it right in the face, ball. They're going to have their perspectives. We got ours, man. It's Drop Nation, man. We got that water. I don't like uh, how they rolling up on Yeezy, man. Whenever they start ganging up, you know, all together, oh, he crazy. You always got to see what the magician's doing, man. And if Kanye is really making no sense, you know, or, you know, is he just fucking with him? You know, is he just messing with him? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um white lives matter you know he could be going off the definition of white and say yeah man pure lives matter man what's wrong with that <laughs> he could be just messing with people man you know the word magic word games um you know he said it was just stating the obvious <laughs> from what he sees white lives seem to be mattering all right so get mad at kanye if you want to i'm gonna make a um I mean, look, even Tucker Carlson ain't really, you know, trying to, you know, cut Kanye's legs off <laughs> in this interview. He seemed like he really genuinely wants to hear what Yeezy got to say. And other media outlets such as uh, T.Y., uh, was it T.Y.T.? Hey, man, you know, they, they kind of like the the bad boys of media, I guess, or the rebels. You know, they're going to give you a, a straight point of view. But really, man, they... They're all a part of it, man. You know, they're all a part of this machine, so to speak, man. Uh, you know, we got our own perspective for a reason. So while they try to dog, dog walk the homie Yeezy, you know, I get it, man. He, look, he all with he on. This is this is the yay we got, man. Shout out to yay, man. It's the yay we got, man. All right. Now, I know. I mean, I could see the hatred right away that people was like ready to. Hate on this, <laughs> hate on this Naga Yeezy, Yeezy, man. You know, as soon as they saw that White Lives Matter shirt, <laughs> they said, man, you ain't the brother I thought you was. They just start going in. I mean, he got it from everywhere. This bro got some real, you know, thick skin. You know, he seemed like he really don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he wants to get you talking. And once you start paying attention, he'll slip something like this. And now apparently this is the part of the Tucker Carlson interview that did not get aired and uh, TYT picked it up. And they're going to have their perspective and we got ours. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying, don't be so quick to jump out the window hating on the Nagi. You know, maybe he could be wrong 98% of the time, but that 2%, man, you better get the babies out the bathwater. Y'all so quick to throw away all the bathwater. <laughs> now nah, get the babies out you know clearly there's babies in the bath water and with Yeezy you know look he got a whole mansion in the water <laughs> let's go man let's pop off this is the exclusive content exclusive Yeezy interview Tucker Carlson what they didn't want you to see drop feature presentation <laughs> I was biting my tongue on my political opinion because I thought it would be better for my children and now you look up and my kids are going to a school that teaches black kids a complicated Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. I prefer my kids knew Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. At least it will come with some financial engineering. <laughs> <laughs> you just watched a portion of Kanye West's interview with Tucker Carlson that never aired. Uh, fair use in your caboose ball, you know, before I get started. You know, these people be tripping, especially when you don't agree. They be tripping, especially when you don't agree. So, look, TYT, I'm I'm focusing on Yeezy. This is not, a, you know, a battle of perspectives or nothing. We're going to give our dragonfly perspective to the dragons on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Um, But, yeah, hold up, man. 
Yeah, I got a fair use tab around here somewhere, man. Fair use copyright such and such. I know we got one. Okay, uh, section 107 of Copyright Act provides the statutory framework for determining whether something is a fair use. Identify certain types of uses such as critic. We're going to criticize. So even if we are against what you think, you know, is right, you know, allow us the space to criticize. All right. And make some comments and do some reporting and have some teachable moments. Slide in some scholarship. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some recon. You know, maybe if we go crazy, we'll slide in some recon. All right. All right. Leave us alone. All right. <laughs> we just dropping that drop, man. Um, they gonna go in, and I wanna should maybe we should get that back. Hear what Kanye got to say again, and then I'm gonna see what they got to say about it. Just get their spin, you know. Say a little criticisms. That's it. And come right back, and then kind of break it down a little more about the Kanye. You know what I'm saying? And maybe there's more to it. You know, maybe we gotta just watch it more. All right, fair use in your caboose. Let's go. That Fox News decided I was biting my tongue on my political opinion because I thought it would be better for my children. And now you look up and my kids are going to a school that teaches black kids a complicated Kwanzaa. I prefer my kids knew Hanukkah than Kwanzaa. At least it will come with some financial engineering. You just watched a portion of Kanye West's interview with Tucker Carlson that never aired, that Fox News decided to edit out of the final product, and somehow Motherboard over at Vice News was able to obtain that footage, along with a lot more footage that we're about to show you. Okay, but before okay, we okay. get to that stuff, I'm just going to go to you immediately, Waz. Uh-oh, Like, uh -oh. what is going on? Uh oh, they got the brother, y'all. Look at him, man. He's in his chair, he got his black shirt on. He got most of his water's drunk, man. He's he was thirsty. Now he got something to say. All oh, they always, man. They always bring the brother out, man. And look at him, man. Licking his chops, man. <laughs> He's licking his chops, man. Can't wait to spit on Yeezy, man. All right, hey, Yeezy. We got you, man. All right. I mean, right now we got you, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go. Kanye is off his meds. I like there's um, no other way to put it, right? Whoa. He's crazy. He's off his medication. Exactly what she wants to hear. Look at her scowling thiz face. Look at her thiz face. I'm just doing some criticism. Don't mind me. I've been falling back. Hey, sometimes you really do gotta take a step back, reevaluate, man, put things in priority and, you know, the proper space. You know, I want to pop off four, three, two, but I want to do it in style. I want to do it with, um, you know, strength and flexibility, you know what I'm saying? Being able to adjust as well as, you know, have a framework that is, um, I'm a, you know, I want wisdom, you know what I'm saying? So we've been being framed in shape, man. And, I've been uh, just paying attention, man, to my children and just getting the home front, you know, in order. So uh, appreciate everybody's patience with everything. We're getting packs out as well behind the scenes. And we got so much drive coming, man. My patient knockers already know how we do. Sometimes we take a little step back. I'm um, getting back to your emails as well. You're getting your reconstruction packs. You're getting your Presta Pack tools. You're getting all that. And if not, just be a little more patient. I promise we got you. We never leave a naga stranded, man. Any naga, you know, that needs something, that 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 needs an extra this, or you know what I'm saying, that needs a um, you know, replacement of that, like anything, man, we always come in, you know, uh, you know, right from the heart bone. You know what I'm saying? We we never leave a naga stranded, man. So a hob to all my nagas for being with us. You know what I'm saying? If you with us, you with us. You surfing the wave live in the ether every night. I promise, man, like, we popping off, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting back on my regular flow. I had to, you know, just, you know, take care of the fam, man. That's all I can really say, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for knowing that and, and doing the same, man. I I uh, suggest all my knockers do the same, you know what I'm saying? Really take care of the fam, you know what I mean? Uh, get those extra moments, you know what I'm saying? Get all that because we all need to be united, and that's where it starts, you know what I'm saying? So I got all my knockers. 
Let me know what's up. Anybody that need me for anything, music at 432thedrop.com. And a hop to all y'all. And I appreciate y'all. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, he just said he's off his meds, man. So he didn't give it no space for interpretation of what he said. He's going to just take the insane, he's he's crazy approach, you know, and she's just this face, this, this facing it up. Shout out to my homie, E. Fonzarelli, man. <laughs> he thought he would do. This face, man. <laughs> Mac Dre, what he do? Rest in power. Yeah, man. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look, I mean, hold on. This is a drop, you know. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a drop perspective, man. I'm sorry, man. It's been a while. I missed y'all, man. Uh, this is just... There's approval and then there's disapproval. Like they just disapprove. Look at the look at the faces. Ugh. He's off his mess, that sick individual. They are like he they are like he's been doing something just dangerous to people. They are like he just been jamming everybody up. <laughs> he's just said something. Made a correlation between Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, which is something to talk about. Maybe all this Why Lives Matter stuff just gets us to tune in and have a conversation of, all right, if you feel in Kwanzaa, why not start thinking about your roots? <laughs> We'd rather do Hanukkah and have some financial engineering behind you, <laughs> have a have a tribe behind you, have a system behind you, have a code behind you. We're going to get back to what he's saying. I'm just looking at the Diz faces, man. This is cray cray. All right, man. Here we go, man. Here we go. Right, like so, he... like, do other people struggling with bipolar disorder Whoa. immediately Whoa. say insane anti-Semitic things? Ins like, Whoa. God. Hey, I didn't even watch this yet. I've been waiting to watch it with y'all. God, dog it. Dog, God, dog. Hey. So you go from off his meds, hinting at insanity. Even the title of this thing is Kanye clip. So insane. So like I said, TYT, they also got their own narrative. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how independent it is, but someone said, man, push this crazy, insane talk, right? He says insane. So then they can have some type of alibi if they ever, you know, uh, Hey, praise Hawa, protect the bro. That's all I can say, man. Because once they start act, telling everybody you're crazy, then they say acting like you had some OD or something crazy. You know what I'm saying? So we we seen this play many times, man. And pray for the bro, Yeezy, just because he's fighting the only way he know how with what the tools he been given. Shit, when I was 15, I was in a Christian church. I was 15, thinking you know I can be a uh, a, a a youth <laughs> a youth leader or something you know what I'm saying and you thinking so if I had to go to war at 15 I would use the tenets of Christianity to the best of my ability that's what he's doing in a sense you know what I'm saying but he sees it from a perspective of this Hebrew flow because he's always talking about it he's always talking about it she go crazy say bipolar crazy nigga Kanye oh you know what I mean and then say he's anti-Semitic because he brought up the Jewish or the Hanukkah just for bringing up just for bringing up Hanukkah. He's anti-Semitic because he, you know, put that in with some type of financial uh, engineering. How is Hanukkah financial engineering anti-Semitic? I mean, I'm not even going to talk about the name anti-Semitic. You already know. And I'm not even talking about who's Shemites because you already know. But my not. How is Hanukkah financial engineering taken as some type of threat, taken as a, that that's like the whole L G B T Z Y, you know what I mean? Anything you say, you're gonna get canceled. That's why we had to build up Nagaville so that you can't cancel Nagaville. Nagaville's in a heartball. 
We're not a part of your system. We're not a part of your wave. If, if we ain't on YouTube, we we on four three two to drop dot com. We ain't on that site. We we, <laughs> we on site. You know, we enjoy where we 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 in real spill. And at that point, it's real. At that point, a lot of wild man. I read to live with actual living. You know, what I'm saying with actual joy and joy world and coding up and having hope and being in despair and acting like everything's against you and that there's no hope. I'd rather have what you call a false sense of hope because I know how powerful hope is. Somebody can heal themselves by believing they're healed without any medicine. You say, but that ain't real medicine, drop. I say, I believe it is. And if we believe our breath is our security, halawa, and our code frees us and protects us, if we believe it enough, managa, yeah, it is real. And that's our magic. That's our magi. Plus, you have a firmament and somebody built it. <laughs> so you see how they coming off swinging right away. Insane. Let me just get it back so we can get the flow. My bad. I didn't watch this before, so I'm just tripping. <laughs> tripping. Let's go. I was biting my tongue on my political opinion because I thought it would be better for my children. And now you look up, and my kids are going to a school that teaches black kids a complicated Kwanzaa. I prefer my kids' new Hanukkah than Kwanzaa. At least it will come with some financial engineering. What's anti-Semitic about that? If anything, he's bigging up a culture, whether you say he's not Jewish in their minds, you're not even Jewish. You can't say anything about the Jews, about Jewish customs. That's ours, not yours to speak on. Our Jewish roots are stronger than your Judah. Yahuda, Hawahuda, Amaru Khan roots. I don't think so. This is what we've been talking about the whole time. That's why we got the history, our story, deciphered their mystery, their story. What's anti Semitic about having a financial freedom, financial engineering, being able to engineer a system that works for you? that you're looking out for each other. If anything, hey, he's talking about the Jewish community looking out for each other, <laughs> that they're always taking care of their tribe. That's not racist. They're just taking care of their tribe. We take care of our tribe. Why don't you let us in? You're reverse racist. <laughs> I got a tribe up with me before I could tribe up with you or else there ain't no me. We got a tribe up with us before we can tribe up with you. It don't mean you left out. It means we got to be a tribe. And if you don't support that, then you're anti-us. Talking about anti-Semitic, you're anti-us. He's talking about how we should tribe up with financial engineering. And you missed the whole point because you're not seeing it with a dragonfly perspective of a tribe that's looking for hope. To put our money together, to engineer our freedom. He said slavery is a choice if you choose to fall back and watch TV and do nothing about it. At least we're having a conversation and at least we're moving. He's not anti Shim. He's bringing in Kwanzaa for the niggas to see that they have Jewish roots or Hebrew roots. He's really in the subconscious bringing them from some Africa stuff to having a Hebrew heritage that is a forever thing. It's a remnant thing. It's a seed of Dawi, King David thing. It's a Preston John thing. It's a Queen Sheba thing. Shout out to bro Dizzle Fitty with that Sheba drop. Veteran I dropping that drop. I see you, man. Yeah, M-H-O-E, shout out Aqua, Lauren Hill, Ak Zion, Marley, man. I mean, <laughs> M-H-O-E. Most high over everything. That's rule number one of the Hebrew code, not Jewish code, Hebrew code. Most high over everything. That's how you start getting in code. 
he's bringing Kwanzaa subconsciously connected that <laughs> with a Hebrew connection for these Nagas that's, you know, just trying to get some customs going. Let's just figure it out. They ain't from Africa. They were just found here. And the Nagas that were found here had Hebrew heritage. That's ancient, not just some tribe that just got out of Egypt. This is ancient Magi heritage, whether you call it Hebrew, whether you call it, you know, whatever tribe, you know what I'm saying, back to Lemuria and Mu and all the lands that are underwater. This is ancient, my Naga. This is an ancient love song. You are originals. You're not just under one title. You're not just one byword. Ain't no Hebrew called themselves Hebrew. Ain't no Israelite called themselves an Israelite. And we darn sure don't call ourselves Jew-ish because we're not Naga-ish. We're not uh, smart-ish, aware-ish. Even though ish in Arabic kind of has a flow connected to man. Like more-ish is like more man. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, let's keep going. You just watched a portion of Kanye West's interview with Tucker Carlson that never aired, that Fox News decided to edit out of the final product. And somehow, Motherboard over at Vice News was able to obtain that footage, along with a lot more footage that we're about to show you. But before we get to that stuff, I'm just going to go to you immediately, Waz. Like, yeah. what is going on? Mm -hmm. Kanye is off his meds. I mm. like there's no other way to put it, right? Mm. Like So he's... like do other people struggling with bipolar disorder immediately uh, say insane anti-Semitic things? Damn. No, I just think Damn. Kanye, because he's able to generate money for people, people still mess with him. Like other people that might say some messed up things, they just would not be afforded the opportunity to go talk to Tucker Carlson or go to CNBC and talk about how they're gonna tank somebody's stock or whatever. It's just that this guy, one, he commands a lot of attention and two, like I said, he's earned a lot of money for um, some prominent people. So people feel, still feel a need to be close to him or else they would have threw this guy in the trash bin with everybody else who said some like just, this guy acting like he don't see the genius in Yeezy, man. You may not agree and have to be best friends with somebody, but if we talking the same Yeezy that made 808 and heartbreaks and graduation, you know what I'm saying, and did all that amazing um, production with Guru and them, man, and, you know, really, I mean, that documentary super dope. Go get it, man, so you can really see a lot of behind the scenes. Now nah, he ain't perfect he he lost his best friend his mama and you say oh no that was a sacrifice man you don't know shit could be yeah that could be yeah but you don't know shit so you're a false witness if you don't know so i'm trying to get my knowledge to stop speaking on shit with some confidence or something you have nothing you know nothing about do your recon say you're investigating but stop acting like you know you're getting in trouble with that you don't know nothing about Kanye and his mama. Hey, rest in power, mama, mama Yeezy, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. You know, I'm not, uh, you know, trying to, you know, put the bro on no unnecessary pedestal. I'm trying to say, nah, man, you're going to give him the respect. If only, if he was a tennis player and he played amazing tennis, just give him that. Serena Williams, whatever she's doing in her life, she's doing Whatever mistakes she got to make, she got to make. It's just because it's public. It's just an like easy target for some noggers, man. They, they just need something to talk about, somebody to criticize, man. Then people need to criticize themselves more. Don't be a false witness. I'm just going with, you know, what, you know, a basis of what, you know, we can... You know, just take an educated guess, you know, and say, okay, Kanye's definitely um, up against something. He's not just tripping, you know, he's fighting something. Maybe he got in too deep with this, you know, we can um, suspect this and suspect that, you know, the fashion, you know, what's behind that. We already know it, right? That's why we all most high fashion love the Ma Jigga, man. We start most high fashion. They on a high fashion. We on most high fashion. You know what I'm saying?
<laughs> most high over everything, right? <laughs> so, you know, we don't want that demonic feeling behind the garments that we popping off with that are fashionable and dope and on time for us, but beautiful garments, you know, man, that, that give all praise to the most high. You know what I'm saying? Um, when people see you with that MHOE, they ask you what it is, and you're like most high over everything. You're going to see a smile come on their face. It's a powerful exchange of energy. They see it on your back. They read it most high over everything. Just look out for us, man. But, you know, Yeezy has inspired so much that we were able to take some of these jewels, man. Just like the bro Dame Dash dropped so many jewels. You know what I mean? We are able to take some of this independent drop, independent, you know, flow, because we're going to need an independent voice. We're going to need our own independent images, films, production, music. That's who we are. Entertainers for ourselves to build for Nagaville so that we can have financial engineering. That's what the bro's talking about. Financial engineering. We're engineering our freedom. We have a whole lane. But they say he's insane. He's anti such and such. 10% of the craziest things this guy said. But, you know, he continues to command attention. His sneakers continue to sell out. Um, and people still want to put them. Yeah. He has sneakers, by the way. I just say he's a powerful producer that very few can produce like Yeezy when he's in the zone. And you know it. Stop playing. So he's an artist. He's a creative, you know, juggernaut. You know what I mean? And sometimes you're going to be off balance, especially when you lose someone close. Look at Mike Tyson when he lost Custamato, Custamato, his trainer, who took him in and, you know, forged the, <laughs> you know what I mean, the the product, you know what I'm saying? And when he lost Cuz, you know, Cuz, <laughs> you know, it, it, you know, it was hard for him to have that balance again. Same thing with yeah. With a Kanye, you know what I mean? So he's fighting for that balance, man. He's fighting for the balance. What he's fighting against, we can only speculate. We can only speculate. We don't know. You know what I mean? But, you know, we could take them jewels and, and be a beacon, you know, be a shining light for those, you know, that are, you know, in whatever walk of life, you know. And a lot of these celebrities that want to have hope as well, they need to see a flow. Um, a wave, you know what I'm saying, that they see is a uh, steady water, a cold that is kept, you know, without anybody banging on your door, say, hey, man, you keep the cold today? Nah, man, we just, we know we're all doing our best, man. We're doing our best. And if we're not, we're going to do our best, you know. We're going to keep going harder for Hawaii. And our whole life gets shuffled when we do that. And we got to sometimes take a step back and say, all right, let me unshuffle some things. And I'm just grateful, man, to have Drive Nation, you know, in them times especially for the inspiration to keep my feet moving to keep the water flowing. Yeah, man. <laughs> they say he's insane. TV, so we got to get up on TYT and talk about how out of his mind he is. Okay, so... Let's address the fact that his sneakers still continue to sell out, mm -hmm. right? Does that say anything about the country? Wow. So Michael Jordan, <clears throat> you know, does something horrible in their eyes. We, we can't support Jordans, you know. We can't support MJ, you know. I'm just drawing a you know, connection. Love to my jigger. He's like, but the Nike is a goddess. I'm like, whoa, you got to look up the Nike goddess, man. That's why we got MHOEs, man. No false idols. We back to the code, which ain't Jewish. It's the Ibaru. It's the Hebrew code. It's the code of Hawakwab, of Jacob. And everybody better get in code, man. It's a frequency. So they mad at Yeezy for being Yeezy. Yeezy can't have a top-selling shoe. Yeezy didn't produce graduation in 808 in a heartbreak. <laughs> Easy, you know, has risen to the very best of the best in his profession. He's looking for an escape without having to, uh, you know, 
I guess, make certain or any more, you know, sacrifices, you know. To them, the country got to be bad for buying Yeezys. What does that say about the country? This is her first legit question, right? But what does that say about the about the world that they like his shoes? Because he's so crazy. Why buy his shoes? So now you want to market against something that he's been putting all his all his butter, all his bread and butter into, you know, all his mind bone. The bro built a shoe company, teamed up with Adidas, did all that, you know what I'm saying? Learned the game. He's just following his dreams. You want to throw stones at the <laughs> at the young man. At least he ain't in the hood jacking nobody. He over there selling shoes, and you're an animal for selling shoes. Oh, because you're saying something anti such and such when he's only talking about financial engineering. We know that uh, Hanukkah got seven days and Kwanzaa got seven days. So Karanga, you know, definitely knew these Hebrew roots and he kind of merged them into an Africanized version of it, sold it on the people. You know, it was good for those awakening out of the Christmas flow, the getting out of their, their days, but you're still popping off on the same damn time, the same what one day after Christmas. <laughs> so it gives you guys, I guess something to weave out of Christmas with, but you still want to, you know, give them plenty of space on their so <laughs> winter solstices and, you know, their pagan rituals. But that was the merge. He's saying, why, why even play with it? <laughs> Clearly you're basing it off of Jewish customs or Hebrew customs. You might as well be fully into Hanukkah or fully into Hebrew customs. You know what I'm saying? Why even play with the Kwanzaa? At least one comes with financial engineering. And this is the offense, these people behind the scenes, because it ain't just these two here. It's not just them. There's a battery behind him. Attack Kanye. Call him crazy. Call him insane. Say he's off his meds. Say he's bipolar. What else? I think he said something about consumer culture mm -hmm. and that it's not binded to any of the stuff that you and I care about, you know, being a good person or whatever. Like, you go look up some of the stuff that, like, a brand like Dolce & Gabbana has done in the past uh, when it comes to racism, sexism, all kinds of messed up stuff, and people still want to deal with them, right? Like, I just don't think consumer culture is too concerned about who's a good person and who's not uh he keeps bringing up this good person stuff oh he now kanye's just a bad person and they're basing that off of this clip <laughs> off of what he's saying right here biting my tongue on my political opinion because i thought it would be better for my children and now you look up and my kids are going to a school that teaches black kids a complicated kwanzaa when the school's teaching you Kwanzaa, it's time to do a 180. And it's complicated. Has he lied? Has Yeezy told a lie? <laughs> Has Yeezy told a lie yet? I prefer my kids knew Hanukkah mm. than Kwanzaa. At least it will come with some financial engineering. That's it. That's all he said. Wouldn't you prefer them? You know, if they had to figure out their roots not to be in some super syncretic fusing of, you know, this spirituality and that and that, and nobody's talking most high over everything in Kwanzaa. You got Christians, you got this, they got their Jesus, they got their African spiritual powers and ancestors. <laughs> they got a bunch of stuff mixed into one. He said it's complicated. Yeezy ain't lied. Yeezy ain't told a lie. Then he said, I'd rather them just be on the Jewish flow then. At least they'll find their way from there to, <laughs> into who they are. You know, I'd rather that. He didn't say, I want them to do Hanukkah because he probably know that's, you know, probably, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just one step away from just keeping our feast days. You know what I'm saying? You still got their way of, their way of ishing things up. So we stay clear of, you know, all their stuff. You know, I'm not on their Talmud. I'm not in their Judaism. We just keep the code. We make it simple. He just said they're making it complex. 
We making it simple. Most high over everything. Amen. Baruch, Feast of Tabernacles. All my Nagas that's just enjoying the week, you know, or you're going to do yours, you know what I mean? Just enjoy a week of, you know, you know, just make it a wilderness flow. You know, you don't have to be in the wilderness and going camping and going crazy. But, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, these are things that we got to do and find a way to make it fun for our children. You know what I'm saying? Whether they have wilderness style uh, activities or, you know, but you're always letting them remember that we were in the wilderness before we were brought into the promised land. And in this time, you know, it's a time of of a gut check of not having the things you're used to having of, you know, not having the, uh, the, the luxuries, but you want your freedom or do you want a peaceful slavery? You want to continue to be a slave because slavery is a choice. Yeezy, Yeezy said it, <laughs> Yeezy said it and Yeezy ain't lied on him. Slavery is a choice. You want peaceful slavery or dangerous freedom? They don't want to talk about dangerous freedom because it's more dangerous for them than you. I mean, if you knew, you know, your power, who you are, it's more, you getting your freedom is way more dangerous for them. <laughs> but, you know, this is our choices. This is where we're at. I'm not making nothing up. I'm just saying as a Naga in captivity, as a prisoner of war who is, you know, getting his freedom through Hawaii, through the cold, you know what I mean? And, you know, until we on our land and, you know, no, no Naga got to, you know, uh, sell their, sell themselves as cheap labor to none of these companies no more. And we ain't got to use their uh, paper money and uh, plastic cards, you know, until we got our freedom, we in captivity, man. We in the wilderness. Somebody left a great comment and said, maybe we in the wilderness right now. I mean, the wilderness is so many things. You know, you don't have the luxury of knowing who you are. There's a lot of luxuries that you don't have right now, right? So you're kind of in the wilderness, man. <laughs> Even with your technology, it's just distracting you from being in the wilderness, man. But yeah, man, pop off, man. Shabbat Shalom, man. You know, keep uh, just inventing new ways to make it unique and if you don't get it right this year, get it right the next. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, next Tabernacles, we going up, man. We going to have a little camping spot or, you know, they can camp out in the house. Like, every night my drop has just been staying up late <laughs> doing, you know, quiet activities and stuff like that. And, you know, we'll we'll do some reading here and there, but I don't make it too heavy with the, you know, reading. I just make it, um, you know, just an event, you know what I'm saying? Just an action, you know what I mean? And something to, you know, constantly, you know, share with them and make it something that, that that's really inside of them, you know what I'm saying? To have those same moments that we thought we were popping off for Christmas and Halloween, but they got Feast of Tabernacles they popping off with, you know. I might get them little compasses or something. That's a little, you know, Tabernacle, uh, A-Hob, you know, at the end. I might, I might hook them up with a little compass or something, you know, something wilderness-based, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So if you didn't pop off this week, just try yours next week. You don't have to be perfect. Just, you know, a couple of days of, of, you know what I mean? Something that inspires you, my nigga. Just be inspired because I want, we want financial engineering. Yeezy ain't lied to him. Yeezy ain't said nothing crazy. So they do a lot of talking. And, you know, if I just let these guys talk, I'm going to go crazy. So I'm going to go skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> nah, man, shout out to uh, the Young Turks, man. Uh, hey. Y'all got the clip, so I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all got the clip. Let's go. And that's what you get in this next clip, so let's watch. You know, I was talking to Ice King. Oh, man. Come on, man. It's my bad, y'all. Hold up. Let me mute this first. Let this thing go, man. Dodge the hype check, man. What's going on? Some Batman drive? Okay. Maybe I'll maybe I watch it, man. <laughs> let, me, let me get it back a little bit, because she kind of said, oh, this is what he's doing in the next clip. Let's we'll see what they're talking about, man. Hold up. I'm still mute. I'm still mute. Still on mute. On to other parts of the interview that did not air. And this part actually really bothered me. Okay. Uh, okay. She bothered. Because I'm so sick of people who are super wealthy and, like, they're good. Okay? They're not wanting for anything. 
turning around and looking at a group of people who are struggling and telling them to basically shut up and get over it. And that's what you get in this next clip. So let's watch. <laughs> okay. She just said, oh, Kanye just is uh, crapping on everybody uh, that's poor. Um, he's super wealthy using his powerful wealth to make people feel bad. All right, let's see if that's what he actually says, man. Let's play a game of, is that what he's... <laughs> let's play a game of Kanye says. <laughs> Kanye, lie. You know, I was talking to Ice Cube today, and we got really beat up in 2020 for saying we need to approach things a different way and not just be trauma drunk, which is a term that, I, you know, God just hit me with in the past couple of days. We are no longer trauma drunk. Mm. We're no longer trauma drunk and we're no longer trauma bonding and we're no longer woke in the sense of what woke is because woke is just complaining about racism, but not doing anything about it. So what we're going to do about it is say, hey, you know what? Y'all not going to send nobody at me based on my opinion. You asked the question before. It drove me crazy to not be able to say that I like Trump. Okay, so there's two parts of that. All right, so he was about to go in on why. Now, a lot of knockers like Trump. He ain't unique. You know, we got we got who we got now. And you got a lot of knockers saying all the time, man, I, I wish I had uh, OG pretty Tony, <laughs> pretty Tony Trump, man, on this one. But look at this, man, vowing and vying for a slave master you know who wants to be the president of the corporation that has me in bondage in captivity they're not even doing nothing according to their own constitution that's constitutional these days right now she just said kanye is he just shows his wealth privilege and trying to tell a group of people that can't do nothing to do something for themselves you don't want us to stop being trauma drunk. You know what that means? Trauma drunk for us, it means we was in a spirit of stupor. Because when you're drunk, it's like you're stupid. When you're drunk, drunk, right? You can't walk. You can't talk without slurs. It's like you in a spirit. Drinks are spirit. Drinks are spirits. It's like you're in a spirit. You're drunk. Drinks are spirits. You're in a spirit of stupor. You're stupid right now. I don't want us to be trauma drunk. Drunk off what? These spirits. Most high over everything. Get these spirits out the way. Connect directly with the creator. We drunk off this frequency. He's talking in code. <laughs> He's talking. Ain't this thing called. Look, man, I ain't even. It's called motherboard. <laughs> you too. <laughs> He's talking in code. In the motherboard. It don't matter what he did yesterday. He's still selling out Yeezys. <laughs> he's still a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? So he still played your game. And now you mad because he's wealthy and he's saying, yo, we got we got to stop being trauma drunk. Here's a message to my noggins. Because if we just drunk off of being prisoners, you forget who you are, your strength, your royalty. We just think we prisoners all day, but you're royals. And when you start believing in you being great, believing in you being royalty, believing in you getting your land back, you know, uh, making financial engineering decisions, tribing up, you get out of your drunken state of doing nothing. He just said you're doing nothing. A lot of Nagas are just going to work every day, coming home, paying the bills, paying on a mortgage that's already paid off of. Don't don't it? Don't even get started on this double dipping going on. Paying taxes to who? The queen? Come on, man. We waking up or what? Don't just be woke. <laughs> just yelling and talking on Instagram and YouTube all day about how woke you are. Take a step back and get some awareness. She needs to take a step back and get some awareness. He said nothing disgusting to nobody. He's talking really to his people. And you're disgusted that he's not talking to you with your talking points. We got to get out of our drunkenness is all he's saying. Stop. He's not saying keep 
So what should he say? Let's reverse his comment. Stay in trauma, drunkenness. Stay in a traumatic state of fear and awe. Afraid of the big, bad boogeyman, massa. Too drunk to take a step forward for yourselves, whether it's spiritually forward, financially forward, but, you know, maybe it's just tribing up with your brothers and sisters. That's a step. Kanye would agree. Yeezy said it. <laughs> Yeezy says. Yeezy ain't lying. And she's disgusted that he's talking to his people. Look at this, man. What's your problem with it, my lady? That I want to comment on. I'll, I'll start with the last part, which is a smaller part. You say it all the time. And we get to say what we think. Get the F over it. I'm so tired of the constant freaking whining and crying. By right wingers, like we're not, we can't say anything without everyone giving us a. You're not addressing nothing the bro just said about a group of people. I'm gonna go back. He's talking to his people, a group of people that had to suffer trauma. You didn't even address the trauma before you start making your faces. He brought up trauma. That's the first thing as a sensitive person that you, I'm just doing some comments and criticism. I'm I'm not going to go in. I'm not, drop is not going in. I won't do it because, you know, I don't want a problem. I want a static. <laughs> I just want to focus on the message without the static, even though we in it, right? We in it, my nugget. We all fighting through this static together. She didn't even bring up the trauma. Not that we need you to, but it might be not uh, Ahab to Malcolm X. He said, man, they put a knife in your in our back as indigenous people, as people from Africa, whatever you thinking, you got a knife on your back. <laughs> your oppressor put a knife on your back. They don't even admit that the knife is in your back. There's no apology for all this transatlantic slave trading. There's no m mitigation of you still trying to get reparations, man. <laughs> you need your land back. Fuck what they want to give you back. And that's the dangerous freedom versus peaceful slavery. Because Kanye says slavery is a choice, but you call it insanity. He just broke down some clear vision of getting out of your sleep, slumber, stupidness, drunkenness, trauma drunk is his terminology that he said the creator inspired him with. Now in Drop Nation, we talking trauma drunk. It goes over our head. The trauma ain't even addressed. Oh boy over there ain't even connected to the trauma. He just want to just bag Kanye. <laughs> she start talking some talk that has, it's like a machine. It's like you're not feeling the person. And if Kanye got anything, he got, you know, something that connects to people, which is why his Yeezys are sold out, even with all the shit he does. He's proving he can't be canceled by nobody because he's that special, right? Or else you wouldn't be supporting it. Kanye. <laughs> Kanye. 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 Yeah. There's something special about him. It don't mean that you got to like him, but he's special. You either deal with it or get out the way. You're disgusted that you got to get out the way or get ran over by this creativity. Just because he's at a place now doesn't mean he's going to be at the same place seven years from now. You can't just shit on Kanye with all the greatness that's in him. You got to harness that. You got to help him see clearly. He's helping you. He, he's, he's, he's making a connection for those that need to hear from him. That I can't reach, that you can't reach. He has the reachability. So the little things he does is big. And we got to big it up. He talked trauma. It went directly over her head bone. What did you say, Yeezy? Hold up. What did she say that you would say? Let's... Let's bring it back here. I'm not going to go in. What did she say that you would say? Let's hear what you said and let's hear how she responded without even talking about what you said. <laughs> Let's go. Well, 
Okay, so I want to move on to other parts of the interview that did not air. And this part actually really bothered me uh, because I'm so sick of people who are super wealthy and like they're good, okay? They're not wanting for anything. Turning around and looking at a group of people who are struggling and telling them to basically shut up and get over it. And that's what you get in this next clip. So let's watch. You know, I was talking to Ice Cube today and we got really beat up in 2020 for saying we need to approach things a different way and not just be trauma drunk, which is a term that, I, you know, God just hit me with in the past couple of days. We are no longer trauma drunk. We're no longer trauma drunk and we're no longer trauma bonding and we're no longer woke in the sense of what woke is because woke is just complaining about racism but not doing anything about it. Does that correlate with shut up and get over it as uh, uh, my lady just kicked, you know what I mean? So that's just crazy to wrap all that up and to shut up and get over it. Maybe you're trying to compare her into some races, uh, you know, um, uh, pecker, you know, some, you know, little old school, you know, pecker with a pecker with freckles saying, hey, man, shut up, man. Go back to Africa and get over it, man. Nah, man, Ye Yeezy ain't on your level. He, he, ain't, he ain't speaking your frequency. He said we got to do something about it. And what does he suggest to do about it? So what we're going to do about it is say, hey, you know what? Y'all not going to send nobody at me based on my opinion. You asked the question before. It drove me crazy to not be able to say that <laughs> I like. And then you're going to cut it off right here without him getting into his point. You know, Yeezy like to turn some avenues before he hit up his uh <laughs> his check is a you know check mark you know what i'm saying but uh i'm sure he was gonna round off and get i hope they play i, I need the full thing because i want to see what he was saying he was about to get into but he had to give you some uh context first <laughs> kanye had to give you some context but you know he started off with his opinion and let's just say that's all he said let's say that's all yeezy said was this is what we're gonna do about it y'all ain't gonna come after us or me about my opinion that's what we're going to do about it. Hey, at least he has a suggestion. My lady. Let's go call her my lady. It's all good. No static. <laughs> hey, at least he is making a suggestion, not ignoring the problem. If he didn't say something, you'll say, Yeezy, don't even talk about our issues. But if he does say something, we say you're crazy and you try to put him in, into some light of being just some wealthy dude who's trying to tell poor black people to shut up and get over it he didn't say nothing about no poor black people shut up and get over it. and she know he's talking to our community oh you're just trying to and now she's taking up for us now she's taking up for us the black community oh you're not gonna tell these black people to shut up and get over it did he say black people shut up and get over it or did he say get off of your trauma get off the frequency of trauma Get out of your stupor. Get out of your drunkenness. Don't just wake up. Pop off, man. Do something. So I basically shut up and get over it. And that's what you get in this next clip. So really? Really? You know, I was talking to Ice Cube today. And we got really beat up in 2020 for saying we need to approach things a different way. And not just be trauma drunk. Right. Which is a term that, I, you know, God just hit me with in the past couple of days. We trauma drunk is not shut up and get over it. We're no longer trauma drunk. We're no longer trauma drunk. And we're no longer trauma bonding. And we're no longer. Mm, we're no longer bonded to the trauma that we are experiencing in our ancestors. That's what slaves do. They bond to the trauma. Or you can use it. You can use all that. You know, it's, it's like being behind the wall. You know what I'm saying? When when they have their revolts, when when they got to stand up against, against massa behind the wall. <clears throat> you got to organize, right? You got to use that trauma for you. Don't let, don't let it make you drunk. You could be drunk in hatred. 
You could be blood drunk, just killing everything. You're just drunk and thinking that you're getting get back, and you're just drunk in blood. You ain't seeing straight. You ain't walking straight. Kanye say, get out of the frequency. Stop being bonded to trauma, drunkenness. And she misses the whole thing. Woke in the sense of what woke is. Because woke is just complaining right. about racism, but not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do about it is say, hey, you know what? Y'all not going to send nobody at me mm -hmm. <laughs> based on my opinion. He's trying to say something else. Let me just be clear. Let me be clear. Yeezy says, because <laughs> Yeezy ain't lying. Yeezy ain't telling no lies. He's trying to come up with, he's trying to say it right for them. If he was just talking to us, he'll just be popping off. You already know it. <laughs> but to them, he's like, look, let me tell you what I'm going to do about it. They start listening, and he knows it. He feels them listening like, what should the people do, Kanye? Oh, Kanye got himself into a big listening moment. All right, Kanye, we're all listening now. Tell us what we should do. Let me hear you tell black people how to get their freedom. Go. He said, shit. Ooh. I can't just say it to Tucker Carlson. <laughs> the revolution ain't going to be televised. <laughs> he said, ooh, I got myself. Let me go into my opinions <laughs> and spin this into Trump because I always got a Trump card. Bang. Ping. Pow. He always got a Trump card. That was close, Yeezy. That's just, I'm just giving you the play-by-play, -play, drop perspective. That's just what happened. He said, whoa, I got myself into a big answering moment. The world is listening. Those ones are listening on all sides. They're daring me to give <laughs> the blueprint to freedom to black people right now on Tucker Cost. Go. <laughs> he had to use that Trump card. <laughs> he had to use the Trump card. Man. You asked the question before. It drove me crazy to not be able to say that I like Trump. <laughs> he had to use it. Okay, so there's two parts of that that I want to comment on. Let, I'll, I'll start with the last part, which is a smaller part. You say it all the time. And we get to say what we think. Lady, you have a show. You say what you think every time someone asks for your opinion. He's getting interviewed by one of the biggest interviewers in the world, as far as in America, Tucker Carlson. They ain't at Tucker Carlson ain't interviewing you. You're sitting back jealous of this bro for being a billionaire, selling shoes, selling out concerts, selling out whatever he wants. He's still selling out with his music. Oh, he didn't go super duper platinum. Like, Yeezy did it. Yeezy did it. You can't just say he didn't do it. And at least he's speaking on these issues. I mean, Michael Jordan's, you know, who I'm sure Yeezy looked and said, man, he got a great clothing brand, you know what I mean? Um, or, or shoe brand and all that. So his knock was that he didn't, you know, speak up on certain issues for the black community, right? Yeezy just jumps into it, just, you know, and just shows that in this day with social media and, you know, just how things are, is the, the power shifts, you know, just with tweets. And you ain't going to come after me is what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he's just, he's standing on his, on his spiral. We got to see Yeezy spiral up, spiral out of this, man. You know, is he going insane? Come on, man. Get the F over it. I'm so tired of the constant freaking whining and crying. Ooh, the black community. I'm sure she's not saying that. Wealthy people whining and crying. Did you see Kanye whine or cry? Or did he say, hey, black people, you might want to get over your trauma. You don't have to just get over it, but don't make it make you drunk. Drunk in your pity. We do this recon not to be drunk in our pity, drunk in our trauma, where we're not stepping straight no more. We do this recon to bring us to the cold so we're stronger than ever.
spiraling straight up, my nigga. He didn't whine and he didn't cry. <laughs> and he didn't tell nobody to stop crying and whining. He said, hey, tough talk. We got to get out of our trauma drunkenness. My right wingers like, we're not, we can't say anything without everyone giving us a massive <laughs> hug and a kiss on the cheek. What's well, so unfair? God damn, man. If this is like 440 hertz, man. We have political views too. I think Trump is a coward, a fraud. All right, all right. She going crazy, man. He didn't say nothing about this. <laughs> you just stopped him when he was about to give, <laughs> you stopped him when he was about to give black people a plan. <laughs> you stopped in the middle of his plan. Do they got any more? Let me see if they got any more Kanye moments. It looks like they out. Okay, we might have one more, man. Let's catch one more. We out of here. We out of here, boss. Now what did he say? Now what do you think he said? It's, and, and no one, I mean, there's a reason why Fox News clipped this part out. They didn't include it in the final product. So let's watch. There's a lot of reasons why they cut stuff. It's not because of Yeezy. <laughs> it's because of who owns these places and what their message, what they want their message to be. And your message is Kanye crazy. You didn't even bring up the trauma when he brought up the trauma. To me, that that makes you trauma insensitive. I think you're anti-trauma uh, folk, you know, people that are trauma. I think you're anti-trauma folk. Everybody anti-something, huh? These people been going through trauma. Kanye say, don't let it stop you no more. Get up, keep going, keep your feet moving. Hold up, man. I got to get over this one hijack. All right. Oh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Y'all want that? Hey, <laughs> for the trash. Man. God gives me just over and over on community building and how to build these free energy. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. I think there's a reason why they clipped it out, boss. Uh, maybe they don't want to hear Kanye talking about free energy. <laughs> kinetic, fully kinetic energy communities where we impress, we we put the least impression on the earth. We're not building the, the new New York skyline fight that we are humble in the way that we present ourselves. We've got to rethink who we are as a species. And that really bothers them look how bothered she is he just said we need free energy so we're not getting jerked <laughs> when we don't need to be getting jerked so we can become the head not the tail stop making such an impression on our mind give her peace not drilling and fracturing and, you know all that stuff we're doing and destroying our environment is that tough talk? Is that anti something talk to you? What is it, lady? What what now? Seed visions from God, kinetic energy. <laughs> oh, you're just mocking. Now you're just mocking. A vision from Hawa is now something to mock. A vision from the creator. You, you can you gonna tell him he's not connected because you don't want him. You want him to have a bad relationship with the creator because you want him to be a bad guy. And all this bad guys telling black people to shut up and, and get over it. You know, he's trying to turn him against the black community. He's trying to, you know, eradicate his, his sales of his Yeezys, eradicate his business, call him crazy, make him unmarketable. And now he can't even have a spiritual connection. He can't even say I have a vision from my power. Without you mocking it, without you mocking it, I mean the the galls, man, the stones to mock this man's vision when it's already produced billions of dollars and helped more nagas than she can ever dream to try to help by so-called having our back against Kanye. You don't have our back against Kanye, man. You're trying to crucify Kanye, man. <laughs> You trying to cute? You you trying to crucify Yeezy? From the very stop, he's off his meds. He's crazy. He's bipolar. He's saying, "Shut up, get over it." 
Now he can't even have a dream. <laughs> Yeezy can't even have a dream for these. <laughs> man. They don't even want this man to have a dream when they already seen what his dream manifests into. Now he's talking free energy and it still pisses you off. He ain't talking go get guns and start shooting up nothing. He He's talking free energy. For all, for the health of humanity. <laughs> and you can't, you pissed off about him talking sweet, nice, futuristic dreams. We can't even dream of a healthy environment. <laughs> Damn, man. Yeah, Yeezy said it, man. Let me back it up, man. Yeezy just said it, man. She over here mad. She mad at Yeezy because Yeezy said it. That's it. Mad at a Naga for being a Naga. Included in the final product. So let's watch. I wonder why. I have visions that God gives me uh -huh. just over and over on community building and how to build the... So if the creator gave him a vision, what would it be about community building? He's going to go into some Tesla shit, some Tesla stuff. He's going to go into some Nikola, Nikola Tesla. <laughs> Who's proven that it's not no game to have free energy. And without even going, just like the trauma, she didn't address the trauma. And now you're not even going to address the possibility of being independent from these companies that are just, <laughs> you already know what they do. Like fat cats, man. But then you want to, you know, put him in his crazy wealthy people. You mad at all these wealthy people whining. You mad at the wealthy people whining, but then you protect. You protect these energy companies, right? These oil companies, right? You protect them. He can't talk free energy. But you are against wealthy people, but you actually are protecting the wealthiest people that he's saying we can do without them. I have visions visions multiple of a clean community this is somebody that can get that done for some communities at least do one joy world <laughs> and show a blueprint and you want to stop him in his track stop his dreams to me this is the most disturbing part of your interview forget Yeezy's interview this interview is disturbing we're looking at your interview you try to put him in this you know glass box and start putting spiders in the box and <laughs> lighting the box on fire, tossing the box in the back of a van and just driving crazy, seeing if you could break it, throw Yeezy for a loop. All he did was speak the truth. Yeezy never lied. Yeezy never lied on it, man. Yeezy said it, man. He said, I have a vision from Hawaii. And she going to just tear this man to pieces for having a vision. This is how you know they out for you. Free energy, kinetic, fully kinetic energy communities where we impress, we, we put the least impression on the earth. We're not. What's crazy about this? You don't want to talk trauma. You don't want to talk science. So what do you want to talk? He can't bring up trauma without you finding some spin on it to make it seem like he's crazy and bashing black people for addressing black trauma and drunkenness in our community. For us to be more than woke, to do something, be about action, be about that gun, be back in code, forget the Kwanzaa remix, get back into your Torah. Baruch Tabernacles, man, because we'll get there. We'll get to our promised land even if we're in the wilderness, my nigga. In cold, we'll get there. We doing something by keeping the cold. That's the best action you could take. Oh, what y'all doing as a tribe, Drop? What y'all doing? Y'all just building a fence? We keeping the cold. When that's not enough for you, you need to find yourself a whole new crew. We got a crew of cold keepers that's better than you could ever find.
as an action. Because with that comes energy, freedom, free energy. Kanye's dreaming of free, dumb, free energy. Building the, the new New York skyline fight that we are humble in the way that we present ourselves. We've got to rethink who we are as a species. Be humble is what the <laughs> is what the con is saying. Be humble. Respect Ama. And this is how they receive it. I'm seeing visions from God, kinetic <laughs> energy. No, he's lost his mind. And it's very It's very easy to dismiss something without even trying to understand it and say, wow, maybe he could team up with people and create something for my children. And my children can be grateful for this man, be grateful for the energy of Kanye, be grateful, uh, you know, for the vision that he's had, that he has. Nah, they want to hate Kanye. They want their children to hate Kanye. They don't want them to be grateful to Kanye and like Kanye more than them. They don't want them to like uh, Kanye's swag or style. We could say whatever we want about it. It's his vision. Can't crap on a person's vision. <laughs> you know, not if, you know, they are, you know, taking their process seriously you know what i'm saying and you know really doing something positive with it man i mean it's real it's really that simple who are you gonna help with this vision who does this vision include what's the you know what's the goal of keeping the code what's the goal of building joy world what's the goal what's the goal of dropping this drop you hear all this free energy talk and that he's connected with his source, his power, his creator. Call him anti-Semitic because he brings up Hanukkah <laughs> and financial engineering. Try to turn the whole Jewish community against Kanye and then try to turn the black community against Kanye. Oh, you just tell him to shut up and, and, and get over it. He didn't say none of that. He said, we got to stop being bound to trauma like a slave because now it's a choice. And either you want peaceful slavery or dangerous freedom. But who's it more dangerous for? Someone who's thinking like her, like them. They don't even address the trauma because they don't want to stir you up. They don't want to feel that power, that dragon rising, thinking about its trauma. They want you to stay asleep, stay delusional that you have no power. They want you to stay in some sort of stupor, some sort of drunken, drunken state of mind that we can't get in line and in order, not in drunkenness. Even when you're just drunken with ignorance. Now he ends it by talking free energy, freedom from these oppressors having our own sustainable communities with free energy that can power up Nagavilles all across the plane. Nope, don't talk about that, boss. Let's just say he's crazy. When it all fails, when all else fails, let's just call him crazy. We are humble in the way that we present ourselves. We've got to rethink who we are as a species. I'm seeing visions from God, kinetic energy. No, he's lost his mind. And it's very easy to manipulate oh, and use a man who has lost his mind for your own political agenda, which is what the right wing is doing as we speak. And to your point about the people who enable him, all the yes men who surround him, they make money off of him. Yeah. So it's pretty gross. And look, we talked about the ramifications of all of this when it comes to the country, because what this does is it normal like the anti-semitic stuff fine you want to provide cover for him by saying he has a mental health issue i disagree with you but fine that's okay you want to do that cool but think about what happens immediately after that 
You got Candace Owens. You've got the Attorney General of Indiana. You have all of the. And you've got to see clearly. If you want to. I was biting my tongue on my political opinion because I thought it would be better for my children. And now you look. What does that mean? You got to dissect. He thinks. It's a danger. It's dangerous freedom to talk freely. It's better. He says nothing for his children, even if they just get blackballed or whatever the case is. There's an issue with not just being in their line and their order when he wants to be free. I see someone trying to have a freedom fight. It's, it's a public stage, social media. It's a freedom fight. Wherever he ends up is where he ends up, man. But I don't want to put no negativity, no boundaries, no more boundaries than they're throwing at this man. Is it a distraction? Or can you get the babies out the bathwater? Someone's telling us it's time to pop off, time to be more than woke, be aware. And my kids are going to a school that teaches black kids a complicated Kwanzaa, I prefer my kids knew Hanukkah than Kwanzaa. At least it will come with some financial engineering. You can't talk financial engineering and black people that are now getting into Hebrew customs. That's a no-no for them. You can't bring, you can't have big Kanye, big billionaire Kanye, telling black people to have financial engineering, telling Hebrews, telling copper colored cars to be aware financially and engineer a system for yourselves. What, you're too dumb to do it? You're too much in a stupor? But what you gonna do? What you gonna do? We too much in a stupor? We drunk? Financial engineering really starts with keeping your Shabbat. <laughs> you ain't spending money from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. You saving money, boss. <laughs> that stuff you would have spent Friday night, you could put that aside and say, I probably would have spent like a couple, huh? Or maybe a couple racks, whoever you are. <laughs> Let me put that aside for my land so I can buy some land or build my land or, you know, save up for this and that. Like, that's financial engineering. You can't talk like that, yay. Because they always got someone over there waiting on you, man. Even someone that look like you. You just watched a... Look at them snickering in the background. Can't wait to get some camera time. Man. <laughs> ...of Kanye West's interview with Tucker Carlson that never aired. That Fox News decided to edit out of the final product and some... I wonder why he's talking financial engineering and free energy balls <laughs> for real. Somehow, mother and getting over our trauma and being bound to your fear and your attacks. He wants freedom to say his opinions. You can't even let him met this man give an opinion. He can't even say that Hawa, the creator, has given him a vision. Not a bad vision, lady. He's not a bad person getting bad visions. He's getting a good vision, clean air. Is that against your protocol, clean air? Power that's powering up your home naturally? That's not straining our creator, our, our mother, our earth? Fracking and drilling, no, no more of that for oil? When you got free energy? Oh, it's not possible. Look up Nikola Tesla. Figure this out. Do the recon before you call this man. He's just crazy. No, he's in the motherboard. He's in the coding. He's giving you some codes to put together to engineer for your freedom financially. Because you're going to need to fund your freedom. This is where we are, man. And this is why they mad, man. They all praise the why. We see clearly, man. <laughs> and, uh, you know, no more of this play play. 
you know, ganging up on on Yeezy, man. We with you, Yeezy. And for the inspiration you've given us, we rock with you, man. We appreciate you. Keep it going, man. Keep the water flowing. Keep the fire burning.